Welcome to TheMarketCapitalist.com. I am Domenico Johnston. Cree. Cree is a lighting company that I've been looking at actually for a couple years now and finally it's kind of pulled back because of some bad news on free cash flow. Not horribly bad news, but still bad news nevertheless and as a result the market has reacted and driven the price down from in, you know, almost, well actually they broke into the $7 range in the latter part of 2010 and now have come down around $50. So, buying opportunity, I see it. Cree as a lighting company, it's not just um, any type of lighting company, it's actually LED lights. And LED lights are um, not really such a new type of light, but a new type of light that's finally incorporating itself into areas where um, more consumers would be familiar with the lights. And that means through light sockets like the one providing light behind me and the one providing light in front of me, where you're using either the um, old incandescent bulb or using the compact fluorescent bulb. But these um, LED lights made by Cree, also made by um, Philips and General Electric, I think those are the three main players in this industry, are bulbs that have an extremely long life even much longer than your compact, compact fluorescents. Don't contain mercury like your compact fluorescents. Have um, the ability to easily dim themselves, so they can be on a dimmer switch, which is one thing that's um, pretty difficult with compact fluorescents. It's hard to find a light that has that functionality, just because of the nature of the, um, of the technology. Also, it doesn't have the hum. It's a really, it's a good light. It's what, um, green technology lights aspire to be, LED lights. Uh, but the drawback is that the light, like for instance, Cree just took out, let's see, it was their 60 watt equivalent bulb, and their 60 watt equivalent bulb was selling for 30 bucks a bulb. Their 40 watt, I think, is selling for $20. They've had, they've made inroads into industry like um, Walmart. Walmart last year, or the year before that, don't quote me on that one. Entered into a contract with Cree to replace a lot of their lighting and their produce racks because the light essentially doesn't have a very large heat footprint. So there's energy efficiency in the light and also um, increased en energy efficiency in the cooling of these, well, they're not necessarily racks, but the produce storage areas. The company is now, like I said, down from the 70s into the 50s, and this drop happened recently, within the past week or two. If I was going to take a position in this, which I may, I'm considering it right now, I would wait a couple more weeks. I don't think there is going to be any news that's going to be earth shattering where it's going to move the company up or down. So. Right now, I think it's more or less time for the market to kind of increase position, the market to get its footing back under itself, and see where the price finally comes to rest. My opinion is that the bad news that Cree broke regarding their free cash flows, and really, it's free cash flows looking at receivables that they're expecting is a little bit different from what analysts expected and a little bit different from what they expected. And I think it'll be a short-term thing. Um, as I'm talking about the stock, we talked about trades and investments. I definitely see this as an investment because of the emerging LED light technology. LED lights, let me just talk about that one more time. Again, moving into the light bulb area is one thing, but you're also seeing it being heavily incorporated into um, your monitors for um, computers and your televisions sets as well. Your phones also are using LED lights. Um, there's other applications typically on board your computer that are using LED lights, um, traffic signals. There's a host of areas that are using this technology. It's the best type of lighting source out there in terms of energy efficiency, life, and hardly any um, heat source coming off of it. Therefore, as these bulbs, or as whatever they are in terms of the actual bulb to a socket or just the light source on your television, come down in price, they're going to be more popular throughout other lighting applications. It's just a matter of time of getting that 
right now it's almost perfecting the technology in certain areas. Now it's getting to the point where it's, we're going to see the um, price reductions come in because that technology has been per perfected. And it's getting better in terms of being more cost effective to produce, whether it's a light bulb or some other type of light source. In any case, that's why I see this company as an investment because you're going to want to hold this over a number of years. This is a trend that is gaining steam because of the price competitiveness of the industry. Right now, LEDs have the benefit in all those areas I just stated, but they're not price competitive. Once they get to the point where they start being price competitive, the switch between one bulb to the next or one light source to the next is going to be very easy because they do hold all the advantages in the market right now except for price. Therefore, I see Cree as an opportunity to buy in at a lower price than what the company is going to be worth in the future because of their huge growth potential in what they do. LED lights, they're a pure play on LED lights. LED lights, light emitting diode. So if I were you, and you're looking for um, a growth company, but again, more stable growth company, look at Cree. The symbol is C-R-E-E, -E, same as the company name. They produce LED lights. They are headquartered, I believe, out of North Carolina, somewhere on the eastern seaboard. If that's not right, it's Virginia. I apologize for not knowing that. In any case, do some research, see how they might fit into your portfolio, and if you're looking for them, hey, you know, it might be a place to buy. So, again, I thank you for tuning in. Uh, comments are always welcome below. Thank you.